Hey, what's up guys? I'm Bright Torian and welcome back to Heart of Iron 4 as we are playing with the Dutch. Alright guys, so before we get started, I would like to mention the fact that uh, uh, that video that I talked about in last episode, where the video I'd been working on all week uh, for a developer, uh, that is on the channel now. Uh, we did get permission to put it on the channel. It is for the game Strategic Mine the Pacific. Uh, if you guys recall, last year I covered a game called Panzer Strategy. It's a turn-based World War II game. Uh, that one uh, focused on the European theater. Well, this new game, Strategic Mine, is by the same developers, and it is focused on the Pacific theater. I really enjoyed uh, Panzer Strategy, uh, and that was a really fun campaign. Seemed like a lot of you guys enjoyed it as well. Uh, so maybe go check out that video. Uh, you'll see it on other people's channels as well because uh, I was uh, I was paid to to do that video to make it it's a promotional video for for their Steam page. Uh, so I was paid to do that video. So you'll see it on other people's channels as well because I don't I don't have like the rights to the video anymore, uh, which is why I had to ask to uh, to put it on the channel. Uh, so you'll see it on other people's channels. But if you're gonna watch it with somebody, you might as well watch it with me, guys. So uh, so yeah, go check out that check out the video where it kind of covers like the. Uh, now the first, uh, the first scenario, first operation is, I believe, what they call them operations in this one. Uh, so it covers the first operation, kind of talks about the the gameplay mechanics and and all that kind of good stuff. And and it was a fun little video that I made. It's about 20 minutes or 19 something minutes or something like that. Uh, so as far as whether we're going to do a let's play with that or not, I'm not entirely sure, guys, because I'm definitely going to do a let's play with the game eventually. But I don't know if I should do it with the early access version or if I should wait until the first official version came out because last time uh, I did the early access version I did the first episode the first uh, you know scenario operation and then that's where all the views went uh, we're all for even after the game officially released uh, like you know I think that the video has almost 31,000 views while well, I, I restarted the series for the official release restarted you know back at that same beginning operation the Spanish Civil War and that one only has 4,000 views uh, so a lot of people didn't go to the episode two because of that. And I had some people in the comments saying, oh, I don't want to watch episode two because you don't have the same units that you had, you know, from the, you know, because they watched the early access version rather than the official version of the Civil War. So then they go to the uh, second episode, which is on the official version, and it's a whole different units because they didn't watch the, yeah, the, the, the other Spanish Civil War on the official version. So anyway, the point is, Caused a lot of issues. People didn't watch any further past the first episode. It ended up being on the older video where you know the game wasn't uh, you know complete yet. Uh, so so yeah, I don't know if I want to cover the early access. I'd love to hear guys' opinion on that. Uh, if you even want to watch a whole, I know some people really enjoyed that series. Uh, so yeah, I'd like to hear your opinion. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's lose this campaign, guys, because I think that's exactly what's going to be happening in this episode. I think we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna lose, guys. We got four four provinces left. You can see we are vastly outnumbered. Yeah, I just don't expect uh, to be able to hold out here much longer. We'll see. We'll try and hold out as long as we can. We'll fight as hard as we can. Uh, but yeah, I do expect that we'll probably be losing here. Uh, one person in the comments was saying that uh, that uh, Burma needed to be defeated in order for our faction to actually get defeated because, you know, Burma's in our faction. Uh, you know, they're in the European Union. Burma is not a major country. I checked. They're not a major country. They do not need to be defeated. As soon as we get defeated, our faction's defeated. Uh, the whole faction so yes we will capitulate and there will be a peace treaty and it will be the end of the game uh the end of the campaign guys so i just want to make that clear uh that this is the end if we lose here uh so let's go and jump into it let's get started and see if they do oh wait no i should probably check over here the dutchies and i always forget about the damn dutchies and these guys make sure that everything's good to go here because i don't really remember where we left off all right so that's right we're defending here seem to be good there yeah, i mean we just don't have any equipment you can see we're having major equipment issues guys Pretty bad equipment issues. I guess we can take a look at our current situation here. I don't even know that we'll, we'll build these at all. Might as well just... I mean, I guess we can keep it there. Not a big deal, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, as far as equipment issues, yeah, they're they're not great. Uh, I have a lot of problems here. Uh, infantry equipment's really what we need. Uh, really bad at this moment. Uh, support equipment's pretty bad, too. As is motorized. Just in general, uh, it's, it's pretty bad. Uh, I guess we could probably pull from the artillery here. And it does seem that we are getting... We're in the green here, interestingly enough. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Huh. Has that just not been updated? Why am I able to build so much? Oh, now it's ticking down. 6.85 per day, okay. Okay. Uh, so now, whatever had happened. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that wasn't registering, but whatever. So this is what we're building per day here. 17.87 infantry equipment. Not even close to what we need. Yeah pretty bad overall guys 
All right, well, nothing to be done about it. Let's go and dip on over here and see how things are going. Seeing if we need to maybe adjust where our units are at. Maybe move some down, more down here because they're so much focusing on attacking there, it seems. Uh, so probably be a good idea to give them a few more divisions, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do a few of the divisions here. I don't think we need this many here. So let's do, move like two of these guys, I suppose. Down here. And then we'll also go ahead and move uh, a couple divisions from here as well. Let's do one of these guys. And then one of these guys. Make sure that we hold Rotterdam. Uh, since they're not really attacking the other provinces at this moment, Rotterdam seems to be the focus. We don't want to lose Rotterdam because this is where our port is. And when we lose Rotterdam, then it's a major issue. Uh, so yeah, we'll try and keep troops here in Rotterdam. Try and stop the loss here. I almost want to put the bikes there as well because we can move them quicker. Oh, they're attacking Amsterdam. All right, we'll see if we can hold Amsterdam, all right. Yeah, we're holding out on Amsterdam even though they're attacking for two different provinces. They're attacking here as well, holding out there, okay. Uh, maybe we'll make an adjustment, move the bikes over there if need be. It does seem Amsterdam is good now. Uh, they have stopped the attack on Amsterdam. They gave up on that. They said, nope. <laughs> Not like situation there. Uh, let's go ahead and throw one of these divisions over here. So we just lost one. Make sure we're constantly moving the, making adjustments, moving divisions where they're needed. And just kind of, you know, paying attention to that as best that we can. We'll take a look over here and see if we lost the rest of our navy. Uh, looks like we did. Yeah, just about well, five destroyers and three cruisers. I don't know what we have left. Probably not much. Yep, just a destroyer and a submarine here. Looks like the destroyer has joined them. <laughs> okay, sure. We'll let him stay there, I suppose. He can help him. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is overall hasn't gone well. What I almost want to do is take the two submarines here. Oh, yeah, we actually have some decent submarines. You know what I'm going to do? Let's take, if I can take this guy. Oh, he's in battle. I can't take him. All right, so we can't really do anything with these guys at the moment. But I almost want to move them over to this fleet because this fleet has done much better uh, sinking ships over there. Uh, so, yeah, I almost want to go ahead and move, move them over there. Uh, we have 12 convoys now. Look at us go. Got more convoys. Uh, I forgot about the battle that's over here. Uh, it looks like we are going to finally win there. It took us a while. It looks like we're going to get it done. Let's go and attack here so we can get those guys cut off. Just kind of help out here where we can. Uh, yeah, it does look like Venezuela's not doing so well. Having some issues over there. Let's take a look at the situation over here. Seeing if they did any more naval invasions. You know they like launching them naval invasions all over the damn place. Uh, they're attacking here and they're about to get them wiped out though. They're actually winning so they're still killing many troops there. Uh, nothing else that I'm seeing here that need to be aware of. Uh, so just more convoys being lost. Yeah it does seem that they are failing to, to get any of these attacks here. Which is very very nice to see. Happy about that. Uh, and I almost want to go ahead and bring one more of these back here. Because... One reason why we might have won here was because we had so many divisions up there. So let's go ahead and have one of these guys go back then, I suppose. I don't know. I'm just kind of bouncing them around. I don't know where the best place to have them is. It does seem like we don't have quite enough here, though, so we'll move them. Yeah, because they're, they're still winning. Uh, but yeah, if they took Amsterdam, then that would probably be a wrap for the province. Or for for us, I mean. We'd probably capitulate after that at that point. Yeah, just really hard to see, like, to tell what the hell's going on here. Like, if we're going to win or not. <laughs> just really hard to tell. Uh, let's go ahead and give him another brown division, then. The one that has the least amount of entrenchment, then. Yeah, we're just going to balance them around. Just bounce them back and forth. All right, so let's take a look what happened over here. We did take another convoy. Excellent. Let's go ahead and take a look. How many convoys we lost here? I'm looking for the battle here. Yeah, this is the one I want to see. Uh, so we did lose another one. Yeah, that one destroyer's lost. Look at how many Japanese ships that we're sinking, though. We're doing okay. We're sinking some, some ships. So that's good, I suppose, right? Uh, and let's take a look. So these guys are currently attempting to locate somebody. You know what? Let me go ahead and just stop all the madness here. Let's take these guys. Create a new task force. We're going to go ahead and tell them to stop patrolling. Just go back home right now, guys. It's fine. You did your best. I'm proud of you. They did a good job. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the, the ships here, and then we're going to put them into this fleet. Or, or, well, we want to put them in that fleet. We're having some difficulty. So let's just put them over here for right now. You know what? They don't even need to be in the same fleet. And we're going to cover these these regions here. Uh, just this one, the Car Caribbean Sea. This is where a lot of uh, supply is going through. Uh, so uh, it's, it's really helpful getting those convoys sunk. I think that's helping the war in the Americas, which if America could finish up their conflict here, which they're having a lot of difficulty doing, but if they're able to finish the conflict here, I think they would then come to Europe, uh, which is what we need them to do. One thing we're not seeing here is look at how weak they look. 
Oh, never mind. <laughs> there's seven divisions there. I saw the two here. Uh, they're moving, but there's actually seven right there. But these guys, nope, they're not weak either. Nope. Never mind. Never mind. I thought I saw something, and, and I, I didn't see what I thought I saw. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, they'll just keep on attacking here and keep on losing, I suppose. Yeah, they're, they're just not having any success. Which is good. That's yeah, awesome. Awesome to see. Uh, they, remember, we have the forts all along here, and of course the entrenchment bonuses. Those are all massive. Uh, incredibly helpful for us. Uh, let's take a look at that. Lost the convoy there. Okay. Maybe another convoy. Uh, nope, we sunk one here. And we'll just move uh, another submarine over to there. Uh, we did get these guys cut off, so let's go and attack them now. Uh, these guys have taken this as well, so let's go and just have them move back. Uh, so we did get a victory here. Uh, that is 16 oil that the, the British lost. I think that's going to be impactful. Uh, we should be able to wipe that division out too, currently defending here as well. Get a nice little defense bonus there. Uh, but yeah, this is not looking too good for Venezuela. That might knock somebody out of the war. That would be huge for us. Not a lot of divisions here, man. If we were only a little bit stronger, I would attack. I don't know if we would win, but what I do know is that if we attack, we lose the entrenchment bonus. Maybe we should just try it out with like a couple divisions. Just see like how it looks. You know what I mean? Like what if I attack with... Yeah, I don't think that's going to succeed. What if I did like one more? Yeah, there's no point. We're just losing our entrenchment bonus. I hope they don't attack us now. <laughs> That'd be super salty. Yeah, no attacks over here. Uh, they're not able to wipe these guys out. Can I wipe them out and get Singapore back? I cannot. All right, we're just going to pull it back. But yeah, they're not able to defeat us, which is interesting. I'm trying to get another troop convoy here. I wonder how many Japanese troop convoys we sunk. Like, how many Japanese infantry died in the seas due to their poor strategic management of that? Yeah, Amsterdam's looking like might not have quite enough divisions here. I might move another one from... I'm not entirely sure where we're moving from, though. Let's just take a look at our numbers here. We have 12, 14, 15 divisions here. Uh, here we have 10, 14 divisions. Here we have nine. All right, so maybe one move one division off of Rotterdam over to Amsterdam, perhaps? Just trying to yeah, micromanage the shit out of this and make sure that we are as strong as we can be uh, in these provinces. So let's do... This guy's in the wrong spot. This guy's supposed to be in this army, isn't he? No, 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 not that army. Where's the one where the, they're being commanded by... It's this one. Yeah, that guy's supposed to be right there. Apparently, I've had that messed up. I don't know if I have other ones messed up. So they get that nice bonus because he's an exiled leader commander. Doesn't look like anybody else was dicked up. It's just that one division. Okay. Uh, so I guess we'll go ahead and take one brown army dude uh, that's over here. And just the one with the lowest entrenchment, I suppose. Looking at 46, 52, and 46. Uh, so one of these two would be fine. We're going to move this guy. Equipment is in a bad spot, though. That's how we're going to lose, guys. We're going to run out of equipment. Uh, as hard as we can fight here, I mean, eventually we're going to run out of equipment. It's, it's just the way it is. We just don't have the equipment to keep it going, uh, which is a shame, since we did such a great job overall uh, in our defenses, uh, and just uh, the equipment's going to get us. We just can't produce enough for our troops. So, like, doing stuff like this probably isn't good because we're using equipment. I'm trying to be conservative with it, but at the same time, I do look at, like, the benefit of, like, if we win there. I guess it's irrelevant, though, if we lose, lose here, right? I suppose I should be thinking about that. Yeah, that one's a little bit rougher, and they could actually win there. Oh lord, yeah, they're starting to kind of get it. It red, it's red for like a second. We're just running out of equipment, guys. All right, well we got logistic company threes. Yeah, I think we're just about done. I, I, I feel like this will be the last episode, guys. I don't know. We'll find out here, I guess, soon, very soon. Uh, do we have all the stuff across here? I think we do. All right, so yeah, no fixing it there. Uh, of course, naval doctrines is not that important at this moment. Our navy is uh, gone. We lost the navy. Uh, we could get the bonuses here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get the we'll get the advanced artillery bonus here then. So that applies directly. We don't have to build any equipment for it. Did sink two more destroyers there. Wow. Uh, so the Japanese navy starting to sink some of them. Awesome. Uh, before I end this episode, I know I said I was going to do it last episode and then I forgot. But this episode, I'm going to do it. Uh, we are going to take a look. At the Japanese uh, Navy. I just want to move a division over here. I don't really think they're going to be all that. You know what? Maybe we should move over here and see if we can't get the capital. What if we moved all the divisions over here see if we can't get the capital? And that might even force them to capitulate. And the Dutch would be the heroes. Alright, so. They're still trying to take Amsterdam. And we're still holding out. 
I almost want to move a division from over here because their equipment's looking pretty good. Might have to do that if we find ourselves losing. We just got to sit here and stare at this damn fucking battle bubble, man. Kind of sucks, but <laughs> no way around it. Yeah, I think we'll have to move divisions over here because they are set on taking Amsterdam. You know, if they take Amsterdam, they win. I'm pretty sure. Uh, it does seem that we might have lost our destroyer and our light cruiser here finally. I thought they were going back, but apparently not. We did sink a, a Japanese light cruiser and three destroyers. Man, we we are doing a nice little job with that, though. I mean, I think we just lost the rest of our navy. Or maybe not. They're over here now. Okay. Huh, that's odd. I thought we had lost all those. Okay, well, whatever. The point is, we sunk some more Japanese ships. And we get more donations. I think those are off-site military factories. Once again, doesn't help a lot. Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll do it. Why not? Uh, so, I mean, we're sitting on a lot of political power. Speaking of that, are, well, who are all we, we boost in popularity? I know we're doing Britain and Germany. I think we're just going to do everybody. I don't even care. Uh, because we're not even using our political power for anything. So, yeah, let's just do everybody. We're going to do them. I think we're already doing Japan. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we're already doing Japan. Let's do Romania, too. Everybody. I don't care. We'll still be getting a little bit of political power. Yeah, we're getting 0.10 per day. That's all right. Just try and cause some problems for them, if if we even last in the war that long. Currently, Democratic Party is at 23% in Britain. Uh, we're at 7% here in Germany. Uh, and yeah, we'll just see if we can't get get them ticked up a little bit. I think Japan was the lowest. They're sitting at, oh, they're at 11%. They're a little bit higher than in Germany. So you never know. Maybe that'll cause them some troubles. That's what I'm hoping anyways. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, Amsterdam is, is having a rough, rough time of it, guys. I think we're going to have to move a division from over here over there. And then probably move this bike division, make sure we get there a little bit quicker. Go get the bike division over there. And we got another exiled leader. Not that that's going to be all that advantageous. Uh, we got the night vision. Awesome. Uh, oh, he's playing. I'm not even looking at it. Uh, so we're close enough to 1944. Let's go and get the improved infantry equipment. That's a nice bonus that we could use. Yeah, it does seem that uh, we're going to be losing Amsterdam soon. Might need to move all of our troops over there. And yeah, just pumping divisions. <laughs> I think we will have to do that, actually. Go and start moving some of the divisions uh, over there. Yeah, I think that's gonna be necessary guys let's go and move these two start kind of pushing towards because if they just want to attack one province then we kind of got to send all the divisions to that province uh, which is it's just the way it is I don't want to lose too much entrenchment though that's always something to consider of course uh, but yeah I mean we got to get got to get these guys fighting got to get them fighting uh, so I think this is the guy who just got there that's why he's got no entrenchment just looking at people who have the most equipment right now let's send this guy in Try and get him some assistance here. Uh, and we could always send one of these guys too if need be. Um, looking at six, eight. Yeah, I don't want to get it, the numbers too low here, guys. We'll move the purple division over there. But yeah, it does seem that we're about to lose Amsterdam here soon if we don't get more divisions over there. Yeah, very, very soon. <laughs> All right, let's go and move. Let's move divisions over there. Let's move one of these guys then. Let's take one of these. See the ones with the higher equipment ratio. Let's move one of them over there. Yeah, and they'll just have to, uh... They gotta hold out. They gotta hold Amsterdam, man. Got more troops coming to them. It's gonna take them a little time to get there, but, yeah, it does... They're having some trouble, guys. Starting to have some trouble. Alright, let's take a look here. See if we don't have another one that's got a little bit better equipment ratio. Uh, and let's take him and send him as well. Uh, let's do... I mean, these guys are not too bad on equipment. Uh, it's not. It could be worse. Up, oh, they're attacking us now. All right, so now they're gonna attack Rotterdam. Right, I'm not prepared, man. I almost want to go ahead and pull back from this province here. And if we start to lose there, we might have to. Let's go ahead and pull some of these. At least some of the divisions, the ones with the higher strength, I suppose. Go and start pulling them back to the capital. Because we're about to lose the capital here in moments, and it's so many days to get over there. So that's another problem. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know if we're gonna we're gonna hold out or not. I'm trying, I'm trying, guys. Yeah, I might need to bring another division. I almost want to just abandon that province, though. It's just, you know, it's it's an equipment problem. That's really what it comes down to. It's equipment. Uh, so, yeah, it's interesting that we're starting to get some stuff done here. I mean, they sunk our destroyers, our side destroyers. They do have that fleet here patrolling around. I guess we'll take a look and see if there's many more invasions. Yeah, they're trying to attack there. It looks like they're going to lose. I don't know if they're going to try and grab that province again. Uh, and, yeah, these guys keep on attacking over here. They keep on losing. Uh, let me take a look. See what we sunk here. Another Japanese convoy. Hopefully that was a troop convoy. And got three more convoys there as well. Oh, and we lost quite a few convoys through here. How many are we looking at now? We're at 10. Back to 10. That's our magic number, guys. Always sitting at that 10. 
and sunk another convoy there. All right, awesome. So, we got our three divisions here. I'm going to attempt an attack on the capital, see if it's effective. It looks like it would be. Maybe we'll get Venezuela knocked out of the conflict. I think that would be helpful. I don't know how many divisions they have, but, you know, it'd help, I suppose. All right, so yeah, they're attacking here now. Yeah, this is... It's looking pretty bad, guys, overall. I have a feeling like, uh... Yeah, like, this is going to be the end. So sad. So sad, but not surprising, considering... Uh, so they are kind of attacking there, flirting with the idea of attacking there. Let's go and throw another division over there, guys. Uh, just take one, once again, that has the strength. Uh, so we're looking at 86% strength here. Uh, 83 there. This guy's got 88. 86, 86, and 89. He's the strongest. Let's bring him over there. See if he can hold out. Yeah, they're set on taking Amsterdam. We got to be killing a lot of divisions, though. That's the way I look at it. Like, how many divisions are we killing? We keep on working on our submarines because we got that experience. And they're doing a great job. I'm proud of the little submarines. Oh, we're down to nine convoys. That's the lowest we've ever dropped. Okay. A lot of the troops, they're, they're re retreating from here and then retreating up, and then they got to retreat again over to here. Yeah, this is, this is looking pretty bad, guys. Pretty bad. I suppose we'll take another division from over here. Kind of a shame <laughs> that I have to keep taking these divisions uh, from over here, but what are you going to do? Let's take the better one. Bring them over there. Yeah, they're just having a lot of difficulty trying to figure out where the hell to go, too. <laughs> yeah, look at them. They're just bouncing all over the place. They're so confused. All right, so we should be getting another division of them in mere hours. Hopefully that'll be enough. Yeah, ticked into the green. All right, let's go and dip back over to the Dutch East Indies. Think, see how things are going over there. They have a lot of invasions over here. Awesome. Not surprising. They love, love doing their damn invasions. Let's go and bring this guy over here, then. And uh, we'll try and get these guys wrapped up. Uh, we do have some divisions here in the back kind of prepared for this, but, yeah, it's just not enough. Our guys are so weak. Like, they're, like, really, really weak at the moment. Like, they have barely any organization at this moment. Or any strength, for that matter. Uh, these guys are still holding out here. I'm going to try. Attack cross. Nope, still not going to win. Let's just go and pull back. Yeah, not going to be able to get Singapore back, which is a shame. Uh, not really necessary, per se, but, yeah. Uh, I guess we're going to have to bring some divisions over here. Get these guys coming down on the railroads over here. Kind of help out, because, yeah, there's a lot of divisions here. So we should probably uh, bring some people to help out. In fact, let's have these guys take the railroads, actually, so that they go. That's right, you can't do it that way. See, I never had known that before, that if you have divisions selected from two different armies, you can't send them on the railroads. Had no idea that's how that works. All right, so we learn we learn things. Suck three convoys there. Uh, looks like we did fail here, but maybe the Americans will succeed. Once again, maybe we shouldn't be doing these attacks when we're short on equipment, the homeland. But I don't know, man. I'm just not gonna not fight. <laughs> it's just not my nature, guys. All right, so yeah, I don't know. It seems like they they're retreating that way. We might need to like tell them to. Yeah, they're just super confused, man. Because they retreat from here and then they got to retreat from there and just kind of messing stuff up. Yeah, we just got to stare at this damn bubble so I don't lose it. <laughs> it's awesome, man. Uh, they win in there. As soon as they attack, we win right away. I guess they're not really sending a lot of troops over that way, but... I mean, just imagine how many how many uh, divisions we're killing, though. I mean, you gotta be, we got to be killing, like, a lot. A lot of dudes, man. Let's bring this guy over there. Just keep pulling him. Hoping that this is it's going to work, but it does feel like we're just about done here, guys. Bring another division. If they attack there, they'd probably be able to win, but they're so set on taking Amsterdam. Because that's all they need to take. If they take Amsterdam, they win. So, I mean, this guy gets there in one day and 17 hours. This guy gets there in uh, two days and 20 hours. All right. Look at, him, look at all these these traits this guy's got. Yeah, he's got a lot of traits. I'm going to take a look at our commander over here. I should probably take a look at them anyway. Let's take a look at these guys. So, this guy's over here, of course. Yeah, we knew about that. We don't have anybody assigned there. I suppose we do have somebody that could be assigned there if we wanted to. Uh, and I guess there's no reason not to. Um, is he... He's kind of... He, okay, he's not quite as good as the other ones. We'll go ahead and have him... Whoa. Have him assigned there, I suppose. Why not? And even give him some bonuses here. Let's have him do... I mean, both of these are pretty damn good. Let's do the spotting chance, though. For submarines, I think that's the most useful. Uh, and then, of course, we have this guy here. You see he's got some really nice bonuses here. And then, of course, we got this fleet here. Okay, so 
Just kind of managing the Navy, what we have left. We still got a few ships, but they've done quite a bit, considering, uh, considering situation there. They're not doing too bad. Uh, so, these guys are still over here. They have not moved yet. I think we need to... S oh, they're on patrol setting. Let's have them do convoy raiding. And I think I'm gonna have to manually... Yeah, I think we actually have to manually move them over there, because otherwise they're just gonna be super confused. Uh, so let's go ahead and have them manually move over here. Because I don't think they'll ever move on their own, unless I force them to. And... Sounds like somebody's mowing the lawn out the outside. I know, I'm recording. They're gonna start mowing the lawn. What's this about? All right, so you can keep doing these. I see. Yeah, I guess, we, I guess we'll do them. Why not? If I can find it. Uh, it is right here. Okay, uh, so still getting these divisions over there. And still holding out. It'll be interesting to see how many of them, just how many of them we kill. We got the escorts for the new fleet over here. Never gonna be able to get that damn steel mill now. Such a bummer. I wish we had gotten that. That would have made a huge difference, guys. We got so close to getting it. I think that would have, uh, uh, we'd at least be able to fight for a lot longer. Guess we're gonna get this one next. It's doctor output, uh, dockyard output, excuse me. Yeah, maybe we can, uh, build more convoys a little bit faster. We're at 10 convoys right now. Building them pretty quick overall. Uh, maybe we should not prioritize convoys as much. Yeah, I think we should probably shouldn't. Let's bring that down here. And yeah, I know that this is going to result in them not being able to build as many. We'll pull from these. Like so. And see if that still lets us build some. Uh, just not a lot. But yeah, we definitely need to start getting the infantry equipment a little bit faster. Yeah, because the infantry equipment's got some issues here. And I think the problem is just the efficiency. Let's do four. Although, no, that doesn't... Then we can't build any convoys. All right, so we'll just do that. I know the convoys were, are important and stuff, but man, uh, it doesn't matter if we lose the homeland. So let's build more infantry equipment, see if we can't get this to the men here, uh, since they are in desperate need of it. One other thing we could do is disband some of our troops uh, overseas, the ones that actually would give us infantry equipment anyway. Still waiting on this guy here. It's about nine hours till he gets home. All right, yeah. It just feels like we're gonna lose Amsterdam no matter what I do, guys. Yeah. Rotterdam's holding out though, interestingly, uh, but they keep on attacking. Yeah, yeah. Rotterdam's doing a good job, but yeah, this is just a matter of time. It's kind of, but it, it's still remaining green though, interestingly. Let's go ahead around the world, dip around. We we spent a couple weeks there staring at Amsterdam, and I, I have not been managing this situation here like at all. Probably should be, because uh, yeah, the situation is pretty bad over here. Uh, we can go ahead and start moving here, I guess, and we'll just go ahead and grab that province next. Uh, and then these guys here should probably go ahead and dip back over there because currently having some issues. They're currently winning there. Uh, and yeah, these guys should be wiping this out here. We should have all these guys moving forward here. Grabbing that province so we can attack over here. Still defending right there successfully. It looks like they did end up attacking here, which is kind of a shame. Uh, we're going to need to attack with these guys uh, just to lock them down. I'm worried about them taking that port from us now. suppose we'll see what happens. What we could do is move a division from this port right here. Yeah, let's do that have one of them come over here on the railroads so that uh, they're not able to take that port from us. Okay, uh, so the situation here, they're not even attacking there. Uh, and then, yeah, I am pretty worried they're gonna take this port now, guys. Uh, we get this guy there in two days, 16 hours. Uh, if they win there, you know, then that could make the difference here. That'd be one less division attacking us. But yeah, it does look like they're gonna win there. I might need to attack across the river here, actually. You know what? Let's do that. That's not going to be very effective. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, it does feel like they're going to take that port because I wasn't watching over here. I don't think they would have if I would have been paying attention, but, you know, I wasn't. So, yeah, uh, that's kind of a major issue. It does look like we're going to lose there. Damn it. God damn it. Bobby, when's this guy get here? One day and 12 hours. When do they get there? Is it, like, immediate? No, it's not. Oh, seven hours. So yeah, basically immediate. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I think we're done for, guys. When they take that province. There they go. They got a port. Alright, so me not paying attention here will result in us now losing the Dutch East Indies. Because I don't think we would have lost it if I'd been paying attention, but, you know, I wasn't because, well, for obvious reasons, I feel. Uh, I'm trying to focus on the, the homeland. So, we're even going to lose here, my friends. Yeah, it's kind of big, them getting supply. You never know, they might even leave, though. Yeah, it does feel like they're just going to bounce from there. Because they always do stupid shit like that. Uh, so, 
What's going on over here? Did sink four Japanese convoys. That's not bad. Uh, I guess we should probably dip over the homeland, make sure that we aren't going to lose Amsterdam. Look how many divisions we have in Amsterdam. It's absolutely ridiculous, and we're still <laughs> having trouble holding it. I don't even really feel like, feel like throwing any more divisions is going to help. Yeah, it does feel like actually we're about to lose here. If we were to throw a division anywhere, it should probably be here. Because, yeah, it does look like Rotterdam's about to be lost. I guess we'll take this guy and have him go over there. All right, trying to hold it, guys. Kill as many of them as we can. Um, I don't know if this is going to end this episode, though. Uh, it does look like, yeah, they pushed them back here. In fact, yeah, they're... Fucking America, man. What's going on here? America. <laughs> Yeah, we got all these successes here. Now we gotta pull back. I'm just gonna pull them back, guys. <sighs> Americans just can't, they can't win in America. All right, so holding out here. Uh, we can dip over to Dutch East Indies where our attention is needed. And these guys do have supply now, so that's a problem. Yeah, we'll just have them just go there for now, I suppose, and you might as well just pull it back. All right, let's see if they all leave here. Maybe, they could. It's not impossible. It sounds like something the AI would do. Yeah, pull them all back. Leave their port undefended. Yeah, definitely sounds like the AI to me. Uh, you know what? One of these guys is going to have to move. Well, he's almost there, so might as well let him finish. So we'll let him have to defend here, but yeah, we're about to lose territory here. But that doesn't mean that they get further away from their port. We might actually be able to take it. I don't know. Let's see what happens there, guys. These guys here are making such slow progress, though. It's like hours before they get there. All right, so we're losing the Dutch East Indies. We're losing the homeland. We're losing everything, guys. Remember, this is much higher than it was before. They gotta be like exhausted and stuff. I mean, look at how much attrition they gotta be taking. I just, um, I just, I'm shocked that they have lasted this long. You know, as much men we killed, uh, and then like fighting in the Americas, which is a terrible place when it comes to attrition. I'm just shocked that they, they, they lasted as long as they have, honestly. Uh, I mean, I, I would expect them to have lost by now because of, uh, you know, manpower and equipment issues due to, but mainly due to attrition. That has not been the case, though. Uh, let's go move one of these guys over to here. We'll try and attack again. What we need to do is get that port, though, uh, and then see if we can't... Can we ever get here? What is it, seven days? Yeah, that's, that's a really long time. Really long time, guys. They don't have any equipment, so they move really slow. Yeah, Amsterdam's almost taken. It almost seems like it would just be just pull all the divisions over there and just abandon this province. It would be the best way to do this. Let's go and take a look at our current equipment situation. Best division goes over there. Let's move them on over there. And we'll probably have to move a division from over here as well. Oh, this guy's got entrenchment. Probably don't want to move him out of all the divisions. Let's move somebody from over here then. I'll move both of these guys over there. Because we're desperate. We're desperate, guys. <laughs> Pretty bad overall. Keep on bouncing them back over to Amsterdam, seeing if we can't hold it. We're holding a lot longer than I expected with just as much pressure as they put on the capital. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that we ha that we have held it for as long as we have. Sinking uh, more troop convoys there, apparently. Uh, and I didn't realize there was two uh, divisions over here. That's interesting. Yeah, it seems that there's two divisions over there. Unless they landed another one there, which is definitely a possibility. All right, so yeah, we just need to try and get that port. Um, these guys here, fuck, I don't know what they're doing. All right, well, we could cut off those guys there. So let's go and attack, see if we can't cut them off. Let these guys go across here, and then we'll try and get that port back. Uh, we'll see if we can make that happen. I almost feel like we're going to need to pull a couple divisions from over here. Yeah, maybe like uh, one or two. Maybe two divisions kind of help out. Ones with, like, the most equipment, I suppose. Have them come take the railroads up here, kind of help us out. Or have them take the railroads right there, actually. See if we can't stop these. I don't know what the hell they're doing, man. They're, like, retreating over to, to enemy territory. It's not smart, man. <laughs> what happened here? Oh, he doesn't have any... Oh, he has zero organization. All right, so we'll have to move this guy, then. But if we can get those guys cut off, then we can get them destroyed. We'll have to see. We'll see what we can do there. I don't know why this guy's not moving over there and, and doing it. That'd be helpful. We could also cut them off right here. In fact, you know what? That's exactly what we're going to do. Oh, wait a minute. They're leaving the port. Of course they're leaving the port. What the fuck? <laughs> These guys are just stupid. The AI is so bad, guys. It's just so garbage. It's no good. I guess we're going to have to move one of these guys off here as well. I don't, I don't like moving it because they have troops there, but they don't have that many anymore. So let's move a division over here. 
because uh, it does look like they're gonna beat us in that port, but, and that would be a problem. So yeah, we're just trying to uh, react the best that we can, try and deal with the uh, situation uh, here. And it's kind of hard uh, when you can't really pay attention to it either, uh, which is a shame. All right, so yeah, we did lose, lose here. I think the Germans and English are here now, British. Let's, let's move over here. Uh, and, and make sure we're holding that province at the very least, I suppose. Make sure they can't get, get up behind us. And let's take a look at Amsterdam, see how things are going. All right, so we're holding out over here. Okay, we do need to get more of the Blue Army troops over there. Because, uh, yeah, a bunch of them did retreat. So let's do a couple of them. Have them go over to here now. And that's probably good. Now, the numbers that we're sending right now is probably fine. Yeah, but they are just set on taking Amsterdam. Not really even attacking. If they attacked us in all four provinces at the same time, it'd be an entirely different story. Uh, they'd be able to win there, but they decided not to do that for whatever reason, so I'm not going to complain about it. But yeah, it does seem like we're going to be able to go grab that province from the, the port, uh, which would be super u useful. And no longer getting that that bonus. Okay, I don't remember which one that was, and that we had like a bonus to infrastructure. Uh, building and then we had one for I don't know civilian or military factory or something like that now the one were helping us so kind of irrelevant uh, and I guess we keep doing these donations there we go and yeah I don't know what those divisions are doing I have no idea but yeah we could use a little bit of assistance here if you guys want to come over here and help us instead of doing those useless stacks uh, we did get the capital ship Raiders uh, so I, yeah that helps the no that's not that's this one. Doesn't help anybody. Uh, this one would not help anybody either. All right, so we don't need to go down any of these anymore. Yeah, I think we're done. I think we're done. We'll just go down and get the, the last two here for the submarines. And then that's pretty much it. There's not really any other naval bonuses I think that would be helpful here. These you gotta build, so we'll never get them built. So we want bonuses that just apply naturally. Uh, as far as, I think there's a 1940, we're already going for the 44 bonus, Never mind. All right, so. Yeah, I don't think, I guess we can just start researching, like, head of time penalty, you know, ones that get the penalties and just try and get something that helps us out. Yeah, there's nothing here. Yeah, because there's not really any reason to research something that's not going to help us. Uh, yeah, so we'll just go for the, the stuff that has ahead of time penalties. Uh, we'll do the uh, support. Uh, we'll do engineer company fours, or fives, whatever that is, it's four. All right. So, still trying to get here. Let's take a look at when these guys are going to get there. Three days and six hours. This guy is 21 hours. I don't know if it's going to be soon enough. It does look like they're about to get there. Uh, but not soon enough. All right, so we will get the port. That's awesome. We're attacking here. Oh, no. All right, let's go ahead and take this then. So we can help them out there. Uh, yeah, they're getting divisions. There are eight hours. When do we get there? Two hours. We got the port. Ha-ha! <laughs> so our organization's going back up again, but they're attacking us here now. Uh, so what we need to do is get this guy going to the port then, but we got to, I guess, defend there first. Let's go ahead and have, yeah, these guys are cut off. Let, let's let them go ahead and take that province then. That's fine. They can push forward there. Still waiting on some divisions here, which apparently are not taking the railroads like I told them to. There we go. All right. So they should get here a little bit quicker now. Got the divisions coming up from the north. I don't know. I don't know, guys. They might take the port back. Yeah, they could very well take the port back. We'll just have to see. Yeah, because we don't really have any, any divisions there. We just got the one. All right, we did sink. We are sinking a lot of uh, a lot of convoys. You can see they got a big old navy over here, though. Uh, and these guys had some difficulty here. I guess we'll go back over here, then. Having some problems there. Uh, I don't see any other invasions, though. We could always bring some more troops if need be. Uh, I guess we can bring this guy. Bring one of these dudes. Have him take the railroads right here. And then he'll cross the river. We'll see how that ends up going. Yeah, a lot of divisions there. I don't think we'd ever be able to take Singapore. A lot of noise outside, guys. I do apologize for that. Uh, so, what's going on over here? Let's take a look. Make sure we didn't... Uh... Okay, so, I think they're retreating to there still. Okay, so that's fine. All right, so let's dip on back to the homeland. See how it's going in Amsterdam. Let's go move this guy up there. And then we're going to want to take some of these brown divisions. And get them going up there as well. A lot of them probably and then also let's do this guy uh, one, one more of these guys let's do just trying to look at equipment here let's move this guy all right just trying to hold Amsterdam does look looks pretty good I mean 
We're, we gotta be just killing so many. I can't wait to see. This is like my favorite part of the, the episode. Is seeing how many of them I killed. Uh, good God, man. These guys, they, we just move so slow because of the lack of supply. Yeah, they took it back. Fuck. Now we're gonna get destroyed. Yeah, that, that's a wrap with us losing that, guys. That's over. It is over, my friends. Uh, here in the Dutch East Indies, anyway. It is over. Yeah, I mean, we can move troops off of here, but yeah, this is this is pretty much it. I think they beat us in the Dutch East Indies now. It's a shame. A real shame. And we got a division somewhere. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do with him. I guess we'll just move him over here for right now. If we put him in the seas, he'll probably die. Now let's take a look. Sunk some more convoys. Awesome. And probably lost some more convoys. But we, we have not lost yet. Like, I thought this was going to be the last episode. It's not the last episode. We're still in it. We're still in it and fighting. Surprisingly enough. Let's go up to speed four, man. Got the advanced artillery upgrade. We got that pretty quick. I guess we're going to go ahead and continue with the, the uh, support companies then. Yeah, let's do more support companies. We'll do the field hospitals. Still got manpower. Once again, it's just infantry equipment that's the problem right now. I wonder if I disbanded the divisions here. Like, if I disbanded a division here, do we get the, the equipment for it? I don't know. Let's take a look how much infantry equipment they have. They only have a little bit. But yeah, if I disbanded a division, would it go to... He does have a bonus here, by the way. Probe and attack... Yeah, none of these are all that beneficial to us. Probe attack, I guess, is useful because you don't lose your entrenchment for doing that. Sure, why not? I mean, I'll probably never use it, but <laughs> we'll get it. Uh, so if I, I disbanded him, this unit encircled, you'd lose all of its equipment and 80% of his manpower. All right, so it's no, it's considered encircled. Probably because it's cut off from supply here. So yeah, we couldn't do that. Couldn't get rid of the divisions here as a tactic to uh, try and get the, the equipment uh, to these guys. Uh, so that won't work. Thought I could kind of game it a little bit, but nope, not gonna work. All right, what we can also do is let's move one more division from over here over to Amsterdam, kind of help them out. All right, uh, so we should also, in fact, go ahead and move a division over there. Let's move this purple guy over here. All right, and hopefully we didn't make Rotterdam too weak now. These guys are now losing here. Because, once again, they do have supply. They haven't killed these guys yet. Uh, so, they, all they have to do is... I mean, they could e so easily kill us if they wanted to, but they're not. We're going to go ahead and move um, these two over here. We'll just kind of stop this, because clearly it's not going to work. Alright, so these guys can now come up from behind, and that's exactly what we'll do. Kind of push forward here. Maybe we can get the... Maybe we can still get the port, man. It's not over yet, but it does feel over. Yeah, it definitely kind of feels like it's over. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Does feel like it's a wrap over here now that they've taken that from us. All right, such a shame. We fought long and hard, guys, but equipment ended up being our Achilles heel. We just didn't have the equipment to keep it going, to keep the fight going, unfortunately. Bring another division over to them. Oh, they're attacking here. Hopefully they can get over there in time. One more. Come on, man, you guys can do it red now a lot of divisions pulling back let's get the bikes going back over there because they're quick and then yeah we're just gonna move a couple of these guys over there and uh see if this will make the difference get them going oh we're pulling them back it's only a matter of time my friends it's only a matter of time come on keep sending troops if, if need be i'll pull these guys out of here i mean yeah you can see a lot of them re retreating but of course we have so many divisions there that uh, it doesn't really matter how many we retreat. We still got a ton defending. Come on, guys. Keep going over there. Keep on sending them. Anybody who doesn't have entrenchment here. Yeah, I mean, we're still holding Amsterdam. Still holding strong, guys. Yeah, they're having so much difficulty. <laughs> oh, they got to be pissed at us. I can imagine, like, Hitler just, just spitting mad over here. Just enraged. <laughs> yes, they can't. They can't win in, in the Netherlands. Years and years and years later, it's 1944. <laughs> and they still can't beat the Dutch. That's <laughs> so sorry. Uh, I can imagine them being so frustrated, though. Uh, it's, it's funny to think about. 
All right, let's go ahead and dip on over to the duchies and indies again, guys. <laughs> See if, uh, yeah, they did that invasion there again. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, they're kicking my ass, man. <laughs> they're kicking my ass. I'll go over there and try and hold that so they can't cut us off. But yeah, we're pretty much done for here, guys. Yep, it's a wrap. I don't know why they haven't they have decided to not destroy those guys there, but okay. Yeah, this is this is bad. I mean, maybe I can send one division over there. Uh, maybe not. You know, they're about to cut us off here. We should probably get over there then. Yeah, it does seem like this is probably it for our dudes here. Go over there. How's this going? They're still attacking there. Not, not winning. And send another division over to them. We'll keep on managing it. And Amsterdam is still holding out. There's just so many divisions there. They can't can't win. I almost want to send another. They're not even attacking from here, so I kind of want to send another division over there, or just give it up. Like I said, oh nope, now they're attacking. All right, so we can't hold it now. I don't know. It's green. Maybe we'll hold it. Yeah, remember, we got such a high fortification there. It's so difficult for them to get victories on these attacks. Yeah, they're they're now attacking in all the provinces. Finally. Uh, it took them long enough to do it, but yeah, they're starting to do it now, guys. Uh, starting to attack in all the provinces, which is what they really needed to do if they wanted to, to beat us. I'm just going to go ahead and grab the divisions that have the strength up, but not but not pull too many that have the entrenchment. Uh, yeah, like not that guy or that guy. We still got a lot in our hands right now, so let's just go ahead and pull one more out. All right, so send four divisions over there. And they, there we go, they took Amsterdam. So that's about it, guys. I think that's it. I think we're about to lose. I mean, yeah, sure, you can join the, no, we should probably decline. I'm not gonna let them join the losing faction. Cause then they would lose right away. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it, guys. That is it. So this will probably be the final episode. We stood out as long as we could, but eventually it uh had to end. Had to end, guys. Yeah, they got all this conquered. <laughs> oh, yeah, they conquered all the way down to here. Oh, Lord. Yeah, might as well just pull that back. That's not gonna work. But we're still here. We're still standing, guys. Let's go ahead and just uh, pull a lot of these guys back as well. Or at least, we'll keep three there, whatever. It's fine. Go ahead and have these guys all come up with this way. Have them come over here to the port, I guess. They're just kind of stuck out there. Yeah, just kind of stuck here, stuck here. They've taken all this over. Just a bitch done, guys. This is absolutely done. All right, got the Dutch East Indies from us. They got our homeland. And these guys here ain't doing too well either. Let's move them back. All right, so let's let the defeat happen here. Once again, let's continue fighting hard as long as we can, but, and, Great bit. Okay, so is is Turkey in the the axis now? No, not yet. Soon though, more than likely. France still never joined. <laughs> they just sat there and watched the world burn. <laughs> the axis conquered everything. We didn't capitulate yet, though. Interestingly enough, yeah, we didn't capitulate. Who did they just declare war on? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure who else they're at war with now. Yeah, I guess I don't really care. <laughs> so, so yeah, this is, I think that's just his own separate conflict, the, you know, the new conflict they got going there. Yeah, so we'll just be fighting here. They weren't able to defeat these four divisions. They aren't even connected, yeah. They're cut off from supply. All right, we'll let them keep on fighting so that we can look at the casualties at the end. But yeah, this is the, the gonna be the finale episode, guys. We did lose there. Uh, we lost here as well. We might as well just let it play. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could attack if they leave it open, but yeah, I think that they're probably... Yeah, they're going to get somebody over there now. Uh, they're attacking these guys. Going to have them wrapped up soon. Japanese are just pumping troops over here. Yeah, this is this is done for. I mean, they're fighting hard, though. We're still killing a lot of them. Um, I need to take a look at the when we capitulate here so that we can look at, at the total uh, casualties we caused them. I guess we'll do that now. So we can see... Uh, 
See how many we cost. So we took 124,000, 110 from the Germans, 338,000 over here Dutch East Indies, 151 from the Germans, 100 from the Japanese. Look at the casualties we caused. That's 2.63 million casualties, guys. We did 1.7 million of that. That is amazing. That's hundreds of thousands each episode that we kill of the Germans. That's the Germans alone. Uh, British, 991,000. We did 500. No, wait. Excuse me. Americans, it's 522,000. We did 326. And then really, I just want to take a look at uh, Japan as well. I guess we look at Venezuela there. Uh, Japan. And we also look at Spain, too. We did 181,000 for them. Japan. Uh, 526,000 casualties from us. 1.21 million uh, in this conflict. So that's uh, how the casualties look, guys. Uh, losses. They've lost almost as much as our side has now. That's pretty bad. They took a lot of casualties, man. A lot of them died. Quite a bit. And then, yeah, I guess we'll go and take these guys. Have them come on back over to here. Okay, um, I don't even really care about the decision now. Oh, wait a minute, hold it, what's desperate defense? This is something new. Is it up here at the top? Here we go. So at the top, of course. Uh, so we can do this one here. We can't fall back any further. Our soldiers have to dig in and hold the line. Uh, this will get increase our defense and our trenchment speed. Yes, let's do that. Uh, the war bonds. Yeah, that doesn't really help us much. <laughs> Not at this moment. I guess we'll do it anyway. Might as well. Alright, so that's the situation, guys. That's the situation. We'll get our defense up. We'll kill more of them. We're gonna kill even more. Yeah, <laughs> they cannot. They cannot kill us. They can't beat us. They just need to take one of those, just one province, and they win. I think. Yeah, I think it, they take just one of them. They'll they'll defeat us. But they can't. <laughs> they can't. Or well, they might have to take two. I forgot we had three. Yeah, they can't beat us. <laughs> I'm not gonna end this episode though. You know, I'm not gonna leave this going like this without us capitulating though. And yeah, over here, I just don't even feel like doing anything here because it just, uh, it just doesn't seem like there's any point. Yeah, they killed all the guys there. Yeah, they're pushing us back there now. Okay, we got pushed back here. But there's nobody over that port, so we're going to take it back, I suppose. Uh, these guys are now evacuating over there. Yeah, not doing so well here. Yeah, those guys have now been destroyed. Yeah, I guess we'll just hold here. Uh, hold the line here. Or try to hold the line here. See, do the best that we can, I, I suppose. Pretty irrelevant at this point, though. Uh, and you know what? We have all these divisions here, so let's go ahead and have two of them attack. Let's get a win where we can. Just kind of patter numbers, I guess, on the amount of Japanese we kill. So they're about to get Rotterdam. Um, let's have these guys all go to Rotterdam, retreat to Rotterdam, because if we have to lose one province, I'd rather lose that one. Let me see if we can't get them all to Rotterdam. All right, so they're all in Rotterdam now. They can have that province. And now every division is in Rotterdam. And I don't know if that's enough. Yeah, we there's still not enough for them to feed us. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, we did lose one of those hero submarines of ours. Damn heroes, man. All right, they're pushing us back here as well, though we could probably win right there. Yeah, <laughs> we'll take it back. It's my province, damn it. All right, they gotta, they gotta push us back here. They're gonna have a lot of difficulty with that. Uh, but once again, it doesn't matter. Uh, all that matters is this here. When they take one of those two provinces, I believe you lose either one. This one only has four divisions, but man, they are still fighting hard. Uh, very, very high uh, fortifications there, so that's the reason why. And what's the decision available to us? Yeah, it's just that Norway one. I'm not even going to bother getting anything here, guys. Uh, I guess we will get a tech, though. Might as well, I suppose. But yeah, I'm not going to get anything for the national focuses, because yeah, none of them are all that important at this moment. Uh, we will get... I guess we can get the supply one. I don't think we have anything else that gives us like bonuses, like immediate bonuses that don't require us to build something. We're getting nukes, guys. Nuclear reactors. <laughs> All right. It looks like Rotterdam might actually be defeated before these four divisions. Look at all those divisions they have there. Yeah, I think they're going to lose first. All right, so Mexico actually is having some problems. Yeah, I have a Soviet issue there. <laughs> Fucking Americans, man. They're so bad. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's just absolutely ridiculous, like, how bad America has been in this campaign. Yeah, they just haven't really done anything. And yeah, we're just waiting. There we go. That's it, guys. So I'm pretty sure we capitulate now. Yeah, we're at 100%, so we capitulate. They don't even have to defeat those four divisions. So pretty much as soon as we unpause it, I guess we'll take a look at the situation. You know what? We'll look at the casualties as well. See how, we're, how we did. Uh, because, yeah, I think we'll capitulate now. So yeah, we lost a lot. As you saw, our numbers went up much higher, obviously, uh, because we lost all those divisions. But yeah, we hadn't really lost that many up to that point. Uh, but yeah, 1.7 million for the Germans. Quite a bit that we killed there. 
uh, British 500, or excuse me, I keep trying to take the Americans' credit, uh, 327,000 for the British. Uh, and Venezuela, 200,000. I mean, yeah, we killed a ton, man. 539,000 for the Japanese. I mean, we just killed so many. Uh, 176 there. It's ridiculous. 195 there. Yeah, we killed a lot. A lot of dudes. We, we were definitely worth, uh, worth a lot. Our fighters were. Yeah, we're, we've, we've lost. And there we go, guys. That is our first defeat. And we did lose. So as far as like, and this is kind of how it ends here. That's the way it looks. We're 58 in score. That's some bullshit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's the way it went. Because it's solely based on what you had left, which obviously we didn't have anything left. So we did win. That's the first, or excuse me, we did lose. Try to, here we go. I won. I win. I'm the winner. So this is our first loss on the channel, guys. Uh, the first uh, Let's Play loss. And, and yeah, I think it was fun. I think the whole campaign, though, got dicked up when I, I had the British go uh, with the stronger monarchy. I didn't even consider the fact that Edward's a Nazi uh, sympathizer and that he would want to join the Germans. I didn't even think about it, guys. I just thought there was going to be the, its own little faction. And unfortunately, that's not the way it went. And once the British joined the Germans, I felt like we lost the campaign at that moment. Uh, I, I, I kept playing. I, I, I was like, okay, we're going to keep doing this, but... The Dutch absolutely rely on control of the sea because, you know, we, we had to fight around the world. So once we lost the convoys and we couldn't supply our other lands, uh, it became a problem. Uh, like, I don't know how much equipment and manpower we were losing just from attrition. Uh, probably a lot uh, because we weren't able to supply them. In fact, we probably would have been better off in Europe if we had just abandoned everywhere else because we weren't getting any of the supplies anyway from over there. Uh, so, yeah, probably would have been better for us to just have completely abandoned our colonies. We would have been able to fight harder, I think, a little bit longer as well. Uh, but we didn't do that. Uh, I didn't want to do that. I don't think that would have been a fun way to play. I had fun uh, fighting the Dutch. I think the most excitement we had was in the Dutch East Indies. So, yeah, I'm glad that I didn't do that. Uh, and then there's no guarantee that we would have, you know. We, we were fighting Germany by ourselves. Germany and Britain and everybody else, basically, the whole world. Uh, by ourselves, because America didn't do shit. Uh, America was our the main ally, and they, they just kind of collapsed. And I can't believe, and I can't zoom out here. It's kind of a bummer. I guess I could go into... Uh, Observe mode if I wanted to. I guess we'll do that. In fact, we'll go into the observe mode here. We're looking at Germany. I mean, just looking at the way the AI manages their stuff, it's like, no wonder they, they suck. <laughs> like, what's going on here? Just all decked up looking. All right, well, you can kind of see the German situation here. This is how they're looking. Uh, as far as, uh, I don't know why they had us observe theirs. Can you just, uh, how do you, I've never played in observe mode. I don't know if you can just quickly flip or you have to actually use the console to flip over to the next country so you're not observing as them yeah i, I don't know because i don't ever play in observe mode but anyways this is uh this is the german situation here but yeah we did lose france never declared war on germany uh and germany never declared war on them assuming they're gonna go to war next um i don't know how many troops the, the italians have now 10 to 25 uh french have a lot we have no idea how many um a lot of a lot of manpower still left as well but uh if they had went to war, I think that would have changed the situation too, but they just never did. Uh, yeah, remember that they would have had to fight both Poland, they would have fight Poland, France, and Italy. I think that they probably would have still won, but it would have helped us out so much and it just never happened. Uh, so who did Germany really fight other than the Soviet Union? Nobody, they fought the Dutch. That's it, that's all they fought was the Dutch and the Soviets. So of course we were gonna lose once the Soviets collapsed. I mean, there's really nothing, there's nowhere else for the Germans to put their troops and we were fighting what? 20 something divisions in each province. I mean, it was like, what, maybe 100 something, 200 divisions just on our border? I don't know, a lot. So we had a little chance of winning once the Soviets collapsed. Just kind of the way it is, I, I shouldn't have done, obviously, I shouldn't have had the, the British uh, join the, uh, you know, I shouldn't have had them go the monarchy route. So that was kind of a mistake on my part. Kind of regret doing that because I think it would have been a funner campaign if it had been more a traditional campaign where we could have fought off. Uh, you know, Nazi Germany, you know, with naval assistance. The French would have fell, of course, uh, at that point. Uh, but, you know, we would have had the British. I think that the Soviets would have lasted as well. Uh, they would have lost a lot of troops here in, in France as well. You know, it, it would won, essentially, but they, they would have lost troops. They would have had Italy helping them out, but Italy's not that much help, not as much as Britain is anyways. We would have controlled the seas, most importantly. Uh, Japan, wouldn't, we would have had the help the British help over here, French and British help over here for the whole war against Japan. 
so that would have been helpful. I guess we can take a look at the navies. I think that's a good way to kind of end this. Because I said I was going to look at navies, and then I, I never did. Uh, so we will look at the navies, what's left. Uh, for the ships, they have 100-something ships. That's kind of what they've had the whole campaign. So they're replacing them at the same point that they, they lose them. Uh, 201 ships here in Britain. All right, that's not a lot of ships. Uh, I don't remember how many they had last time I looked at them. Uh, the Americans have 200-something ships. So, yeah, they, they're losing some as well. Let's take a look at the Japanese, though. They, they don't even have 100, or they might have 100 ships. I mean, we did sink a bunch of them. Um, but, yeah, the Japanese the Navy was almost destroyed. Well, that's interesting, the way that kind of developed, isn't it? Huh. All right. Americans seem to have done a good job on the sea, uh, for the most part, for fighting Japan, Germany, and uh, Britain all at once. America seemed to have done a good job of the sea. It was just on land that they are completely incompetent. Like, they couldn't even, they haven't even wrapped this up yet. I guess there is a lot of divisions here, now that we can kind of see what's going on there. But yeah, this was, uh, it was a, it was a good campaign. We fought hard. We fought long and hard, and uh, we, we killed a lot of enemy troops. Uh, but it is the end here, and so now it's time to move on to the next one. We do got our first loss on the channel, which I think is interesting. Uh, it's kind of cool that uh we have we, we watched a, a defeat uh and a hard defeat too god that was a challenging campaign uh i i, I there was points in the campaign where i only thought that we were gonna we were gonna be a win uh, i'm not gonna lie i was like oh we got this man once we had the fortifications up over here and i was like man the germans are never gonna break through this and i think when the spanish <laughs> attacked here and got us and got behind us oh that was that was it right there i think that was the, the losing point um, once the Spanish got behind us, I didn't have enough divisions protecting that port, apparently. Uh, so that was kind of big. Uh, but yeah, and then when Belgium fell as well, that was huge too, because it couldn't get supply anymore from France, couldn't get the, uh, the steel. And so, yeah, I, I don't feel like there's anything I could have done different in the campaign that would have been better. Uh, the only thing is before we started the campaign, with the, the, having the English go with the monarchy run. That's the only thing I feel like I regret doing. Other than that, I feel like it was a good campaign. I had fun. Uh, we defended our territory. We did a good job defending that territory, and uh, we fought long and hard. and And it feels like it was it was worth it all. Uh, we the, our enemies will forever remember the Netherlands and trying to conquer the Netherlands and how difficult that was. Uh, we'll be respected throughout history now. Uh, so I feel I feel good about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the campaign. As far as the next uh, campaign, I do have a plan for something I wanted to do. Uh, and you guys will have to see what that is. It's kind of involving a little bit of modding, uh, but not nothing, anything really big or anything. So it shouldn't take me too long to do. Uh, but yeah, that's the, the next thing that I have planned, a little shorter series. And then we'll be doing another longer series. Kind of trending towards going with Germany for the longer series because they were in the last vote. And they were in second place for the last vote, even though the Dutch won pretty handily in that Patreon vote. But yeah, I think we're going to probably play Germany for the next full series. Once again, it's going to be after that short one. As far as when that's going to start, it's probably not going to be this week, guys, because I have some, uh, I got an appointment that I'm going to. Um, you know, some of you guys know I have some health issues I've been dealing with. I haven't had health insurance for three years, uh, so I haven't been able to deal with them. And they've been pretty serious. I'm not going to go into detail because this video is over, but it's uh, it's been really bad. Um, at the point, like, I can't eat, like, can't eat hardly anything. Uh, I pretty much only eat... Uh, I eat rice, steamed vegetables, and then for my protein, uh, I eat, you know, beans, baked chicken, and an occasional steak. And that's all I eat. Like, I'm not even, not a plan. Like, that's not an exaggeration. That's the only foods I eat. I can't eat anything else. Uh, I get really sick every time I eat anything. And it's been this way for a while now. Uh, it just keeps getting worse and worse. I used to be able to eat a lot more foods, and now I can't hardly eat anything. Haven't had insurance to deal with it, and I finally have insurance, guys. I, I got insurance. We just recently did a few weeks ago. And, uh, yeah, it's the first time having insurance in three years, and I'm going to the doctor. Uh, I went to the doctor already, and, and I'm not, I don't want to go too much into my health, guys, but it's kind of serious. Uh, so I'm getting, like, a procedure done, and I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll kind of update you, but that's next week. Yeah, so I'm recording this on Saturday. I go to work all day on Sunday. So, yeah, I don't see how that would work. Yeah, it's this week here. Uh, it's uh, I'll be out Wednesday. I said next week, but we're already in this week. Uh, so, yeah, it's uh, Wednesday through Sunday, more than likely. Uh, that's what it's going to be. And not, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do. I'm probably going to record or, or whatnot. I don't know how bad it's going to be. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, about four or five days I'm be out of commission. So, yeah, I don't really think we should start the series on a Tuesday or something when I'm be gone for that long so yeah probably just uh keep playing the rome series or something i don't know uh, we'll see we'll see how it works and then hopefully i can come back that uh following week um i don't know 
Monday or Tuesday. I got Sunday off and I'm, I'm got the whole week off, you know, because you know for this procedure. So yeah, I don't know how long recovery is really going to be. We'll just see. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, it's definitely going to be a few days. Uh, but wish me luck on that and. And uh, I guess I'll see you when you come back for Hearts of Iron Form. Looking forward to the new series, uh, the shorter series. I think it's going to be fun. A little thing that I wanted to do for Man the Guns, a uh, little mod. And uh, yeah, I don't know how long that series will be. Once again, it's going to be short. And then we'll, we'll start pick it up with a longer series, probably Germany. Uh, it's going to be like a traditional Germany playthrough. Uh, just kind of, uh, you know, conquer some stuff. And of course, most importantly, I want to try out the, the submarine uh, warfare. Uh, I want to see how how well that works. I mean, we actually did use quite a bit of submarines in this one more than I thought. But like, just focus on the submarine warfare and just seeing like his rating, like an effective way to defeat an enemy. Because uh, I'm curious if man the guns has changed that with the fuel edition and and just the way the naval aspects have been changed. I'm curious. And uh, I'll maybe it's a little bit of surface rating too. See if that's effective at all. Kind of test it out. Give it a little run. Uh, but yeah, should have a little bit of fun with Germany uh, if we did that one. Uh, so. That's what I'm trying to towards. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below, but this is the end of the series. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, leave a comment, uh, and hope to see you on the new series when that starts. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.